just about one minute. Falcon 9 is in startup. Another good call out here. She hear the call for go for launch from the SpaceX launch director in the next few seconds. Go for launch. And with that call out, SpaceX is ready to lift off its second Falcon 9 rocket of the day less than 30 seconds from now. Fifteen seconds. And here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Engine ignition and liftoff. For the second time today, a Falcon 9 rocket takes to the skies above Florida. The Falcon 9 has cleared the tower at Pad 40. Against clear skies, let's listen to the roar of those nine Merlin 1D engines. Getting some great views from our tracking team. This view from Chuck Briggs. This from our own Adam Bernstein. And Pete Carstens with Max Q Productions. Now approaching a minute into flight. A nominal flight so far of the Falcon 9 rocket. Call out that the vehicle is supersonic, traveling faster than the speed of sound. Rocket now passing through max Q, the point of greatest aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle. At this point, we have less than a minute left on the burn of those first stage engines. Coming up, we'll hit a few different markers in rapid succession. T plus two minutes, 26 seconds, we'll hit Miko, or first stage main engine cutoff. That'll be followed by stage separation and then SES-1, or second stage engine start. Then a little after three minutes, this phalo uh, the payload fairings will deploy, exposing the Starlink satellites to the vacuum of space for the first time on this mission. We're now a little more than two minutes into flight. Some brilliant color from those Merlin engines. Do you hear from our friend Pete Carstens with Max Q Productions? As you see Miko. Stage separation. And the ignition of that Merlin vacuum engine. And you see those events on the SpaceX feed and the delay on the right-hand side of your screen. A nice view of Florida from the second stage engine, or the second stage cameras. Coming up on payload fairing deployment in a few seconds. Nice little plume effect jellyfish effects as you see those payload fairings falling away, catching the reflection of the Merlin vacuum engine. And there you see the fairing falling away in the onboard camera views. Now a little over three and a half minutes into flight, you can still very clearly see those payload fairings glinting in P. Karsten's tracking camera view here as you're seeing some stars cruise by. Or rather, the second stage cruise by some stars in the background. Now coming up on the fourth minute into flight, 
The next event we're looking for is just about T plus 6 minutes and 10 seconds. That's when the first stage entry burn will begin. That burn lasting 23 seconds. And a note from SpaceX that both the Falcon 9 first stage and second stage are following nominal flight paths, so everything on course with this mission so far. Not a little over four minutes, 48 seconds into this flight. Still getting some great tracking views from Pete. Adam Bernstein also has his eyes on the second stage as well. We're now just about a minute from the start of the first stage entry burn beginning. Still hearing a good flight path for both the first and second stages of the Falcon 9 rocket as we head past five and a half minutes into flight. Again, that entry burn set to begin at T plus six minutes and 10 seconds. <laughs> 